Hi Engineering Janta, I am Vaibhav Shukla and today despite welcoming the Engineering Janta, this video is for all the students who are from non-tech backgrounds and specifically from BCA or MCA background. This video is for you people and the reason is a lot of students had queries regarding that how can I transform my career, how can I switch to the tech roles because I have done BCA, I have done MCA and I don't know exactly how my degree can help me out in getting a tech job and how exactly should I go about getting a tech job because B-Tech people get a hang of it in their colleges but we do not get the same thing or same exposure in our colleges. So to solve your problem, I am here and I'll solve this out today for you end to end complete roadmap discuss karenge and that would help you out a lot fine so to everybody who's watching this I'll sincerely suggest that you go ahead and follow my social media handle that is Instagram because there I keep posting some cool stuff for you people which is informative and that can help you as well fine has brought some queries to me that many students want to learn statistics for data science. So if you want to learn that from me, I can teach that in live classes on YouTube for free. But for that, you need to push us in the comments like always. So what you should do is go ahead in the comments, type statistics from WebHub sir. And if I get enough comments, I'll build live videos for you. So let's go ahead and let's understand about the same. This is the basic roadmap. Her step ko hum detail mein bhi samjhenge, but first of all, let's understand what exactly each step means. Fine. So the first step is language. Fine. Language is something you should be very, very concerned about. This particular step. Fine. Language. Here, out of C, Java, and Python, you have to learn one language. Koi ek language seekhni hai jo pasand hai. Thik hai? Post that, you have coding and DSA fine and then once the coding and dsa portion is done you go to skill upgradation project building now what is this how to choose this language how exactly to tackle coding and dsa next slide mein hum log samjhenge details mein don't worry fine so skill upgradation and project building that is very very essential you need one good skill through which you can get a job i will tell you which exact skill can be the best skill for you people to get a job fine post this you need to do good internships now we'll focus more upon it fine and this is the basic order in which you will go about it so language coding dsa skill upgradation internships then aptitude practice fine why this aptitude practice is so important why it is essential i'll i'll come to it i'll speak about it and alongside that a few core cs subjects so those are very essential fine alongside that once this whole portion is done you come to the resume building where you build your resume, where you work upon it. Once this has been done, then you simply apply, you get shortlisted, you get interviewed, then you get a selection and you get your offer rolled out if everything is good in your background verification. Fine. So let's understand every step. Fine. So coming to language. Out of these three languages, you can choose one language. Fine. These three languages are available to you. C++, Java and Python. Any one you can pick. Now, speaking realistically, asliyat pe baat karte hain. Oh, ye hai. This is a difficult language. Fine. This is usually a difficult language. Fine. So remember, if you are somebody who is very passionate about Java, then only go into this domain, Varna. Dur rao. Specifically saying, Dur rao. If you are very good at data, AI, ML, fine. In these domains, if you are good, Python. Now, Python would give you advantage at times. So I would suggest that you learn Python, but for some other reasons. If you want to purely go into full stack development, software development, purely into that, then select C++. If you want to go into data analyst, data science roles, in AI ML engineer roles, data engineer roles, NLP engineer roles, then Python is for you. Fine. Simple. Now choose accordingly. If you're somebody who's absolute beginner, who do doesn't want to go in data roles, who doesn't want to go in AI roles, if you're somebody who wants to go in full stack development, if you want to go in software development, Simply choose C++, don't immediately go for Java. However, 
in the longer run you will need this language so there is one possibility that you spend time with this language initially and work upon it but you're coming from a bca mci background i know that you face some challenges in very advanced coding or in difficult languages so that is the reason i'm not suggesting java however before starting any of these languages please go and study c language fine why am i saying so why am i propagating this c language look c language is essential because it is mother of all these languages fine once you get proficiency in it ye sari languages 3 din ka kaam hai seekhna i'm not kidding khas kar c++ to 3 din ka kaam hai you'll get through it if you know c language well for java even if you know c you'll take time here even the btech people take time here so java is a tough language but in longer run it is a good language to learn because the most widely used frameworks like spring boot are in java fine so there you get selected if you are having java you get not basically selected you get a ease of doing things fine you you can perform better in that particular framework if you learn java otherwise c++ is equally good i have seen hundreds of software engineers who do not know java who know c++ and still working in very good companies fine now once you are done with these what you have to do is you practice the top 100 codes you will find the link to it in description which are available on prepinsta.com fine alongside that one more list is available there top 150 not out list which is again on prepinsta.com you will find the link to it in the description again now let me tell you one thing top 150 not out ek aisi list hai it is one of its kind list where you will have just 150 questions if you have practiced it you can crack the dsa round the data structures and algorithms round of any big company any big company fine dsa data structures and algorithms is always asked in product based companies in their initial rounds of selection in the first two three rounds you generally have dsa problems to solve only so there that particular list can make you sail through easily your journey would become immensely easy if you're good in this particular list top 150 not out and is enough no need to solve 400 500 lead code problems koi zarurat nahi fine now moving on further skill upgradation and project building speaking realistically i have written many skills here prime skills fine and on prepinstaprime.com you can go ahead and find these courses but i would severely suggest you out of all these the first thing you should focus upon is data analytics why so very less coding you need python on the name of coding that's it rest is excel power bi so this is power bi and tableau this group you should focus upon the most i can tell you that ethical hacking is very good i can tell you data science machine learning bahut acche paise hain ye kar lo but i always prefer the realism mujhe pasand hai to live in the real life to give you which actually can affect your life which can change your life i always deliver the content that is relevant to you as well as to the industry fine i do not give you anything that you go do eth ethical hacking and you will get job you will not get job you are from a bca mca background getting a job in ethical hacking for you is hell lot of tough journey fine do not do that rather than i am giving you an easy way out data analytics seekho power bi tableau seekho things would be wonderful for you so learn these three skills primarily alongside that you learn excel and all this you can find on prepinstaprime.com so there is a subscription you simply enroll there you get the access to 200 plus courses for that if you need any financial aid if you are struggling financially this shukla 10 coupon can act as one of your helping hands this coupon would provide you some discount over it fine so this is shukla 10 shukla 10 fine so if you learn these skills these are highly important skills and easy to learn skills bahut sari jobs hain isme so you can easily get a job and data science is not that needed fine not that needed for somebody who is bca mc and starting with their career i am not saying not needed to industry it is needed to industry 
it is highly essential skill i am a data science expert i should vouch for it but more than that i want you to succeed that is important realistically ground pe baat karte hain theek hai and for that for a bca or mca graduate learning data analytics first is easier also to transition from data analytics to data scientist is easy and usually you will find 70 to 80% data scientists who have worked as data analysts first fine so i would suggest you data analytics is the best skill out of all these if you want to learn something else great go ahead if you want to be a software engineer java plus spring boot fine or if you don't want to learn java then what you can do is you learn react js you learn first of all javascript this is entirely a different language java and javascript have no relation so javascript is entirely a different language react js node js mongo db fine and express or angular i would suggest you learn angular js because that is nowadays in demand so you learn one skill fine you learn this whole bunch this is whole bunch of full stack development you learn this or you learn these three skills and you're good to go now build some good projects again you find these ideas on prepinstaprime.com otherwise on this youtube channel itself i have built top 5 final year projects in that you can see those projects and then you can build them out fine those projects are wonderful and you have full resume description at your hand theek hai now once you've done this you move further do internships these internships add value to your resume fine they add weight to your resume also they give you a proper exposure of how industry works how actual organizations work alongside that they give you connections they give you senior mentors who tell you what is relevant in industry how to learn fastly how you can adapt to the industry conditions fine so there are two types of internships one is government one is private in private easiest to grab in startups they'll pay you well around see 15 20000 25000 20, easily you can grab this much stipend otherwise in service based companies or product based companies for these for product based companies if you get an internship great because you might end up having a pre placement offer but hair selection is generally tough you need great level of dsa and good projects to go here now coming to government so in government iits nits csir labs isro labs drdo labs they have their own internship schemes every now and then they they opening up i have just released the video of iit internships a few weeks back so you can go ahead check it out that video would help you out that in which iit the research internship is going on you can check that out internship karo because you need to write some experience in your resume so that you get shortlisted somewhere now once it is done work upon aptitude and core cs subjects fine so why aptitude when you will sit in any exam so you will have aptitude round in mass hirings fine aptitude round in mass hirings now what is there in mass hirings what exactly is the issue in mass hirings 80% of people get rejected straight away from the first written test itself and in that written test generally aptitude is asked so for that you should work on your quants your logical your verbal reasoning your data interpretation visual reasoning game based aptitude how do you perfect that previous year papers and mocks very important very very important so here once you're done with this work on these three cs fundamentals ab is pe kaise kaam karoge simple you go on prepinstaprime.com either watch the courses from there operating system dbms computer networks everything is available in this dbms you should also cover sql otherwise go on various youtube channels collect information or for cn i am telling you a book of foreign author tanenbaum wonderful book told by my teacher dr chandra devakar wonderful professor he was thank you sir for telling me this book and this book is actually a very good book so you should go ahead and study this book out this is a wonderful book and this is basically author's name tanenbaum so computer network ke liye wo book achhi hai for os you have to study few topics like process scheduling you should study basic deadlocks 
you should study semaphores and a bit of memory management fine alongside that study a bit of SDLC software development life cycle so it has waterfall model V model spiral model agile methodology you study a few things in SDLC once you are done with this once you have covered this all you need to do is work on your resume why because your resume tells the story of your hard work to the recruiter recruiter doesn't know you personally fine so in that case he needs to see your resume because it is the thing which is telling the story of your hard work to recruiter it is this resume which will tell the recruiter that you've done this project you've done this skill you've worked more in the skill you have grabbed this certification you have worked in the particular organization as an intern so all this you get here fine so for resume quantification is very important now what is quantification adding numbers to your resume that you've increased some performance by 25 percent you've reduced user drop rate by 15 percent so all these numbers how do you get it so for that i have specifically built a video on explaining how you can build an ultimate resume in the live section of our channel you can go you can watch that out also you add skills projects internships certifications when you're sorted with this and your resume go ahead build a good linkedin profile and github profile now what exactly you need to do with linkedin profile build some connections that is very important because when you build connections for example you wanted to apply to amazon you had a few people in your LinkedIn connections from Amazon. You can DM them with your resume. You message them with your resume that you need referral for a specific job ID. And then you ask for referral and getting hired from referrals is very, very easy. You get higher chances of getting shortlisted. Fine. So LinkedIn helps you there. GitHub profile is something that you add its link into your resume and somebody can actually watch your work in the GitHub profile. Fine. Somebody who's who's trying and working hard on a project should showcase it on github so that somebody can see your work better if you have a youtube video of it straight away working video and you share that link to that person that you have built it fine so that can help you a lot in this and i would always suggest go ahead build a good resume because that is the key the initial key that opens the door of success for you fine now once it is done then you're set to grab a job so it is pretty much so go ahead follow us on all the social media handles so that you never miss any update from our side on hiring and do comment below this video if you liked this video so top three comments might stand a chance to win a prep insta prime subscription for free apart from this always remember whatever good you learn from here pass it on to the masses fine keep doing good for others good will come back to you don't worry fine keep doing good keep spreading the knowledge that you get i might not be perfect i am not perfect like any human being and i might be committing some mistakes so jo bhi mere afgun hai leave them here whatever better things you like jo bhi gun hai take them with yourself fine that is important from my side as a mentor to tell you and keep on working hard keep on working with patience perseverance and patience can beat any talent in this world fine so keep on doing hard work and rest assured i am with you in this journey if you want this ppt you go ahead comment ppt below that video and we'll send you a link to a telegram community or whatsapp community where you can join and see that ppt fine if you need this ppt for the roadmap you can go ahead comment the ppt and if you want me to speak up more on your issues like this to guide you more go ahead subscribe to this channel also Tell me in the comments what exactly you want to see from our side. Fine. So have a wonderful day. Keep doing good for others. Good will come back to you.